It's satisfying to know that the DC didn't go out with a bang, but with a sonic boom. Chow couldn't have said it better, as unfortunately the Dreamcast as a console became defunct shortly after Adventure 2's release. From here on out, Sega would start to ship Sonic out to be played solely on other companies' systems. Adventure 2 was re-released for the Nintendo GameCube less than a year later, under the name Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Whereas only 100,000 copies were sold on Dreamcast, the GameCube version achieved sales of over 2.5 million.